Oh, my niece got this cute little cat. This cat that's she she is still a little baby, considered a baby cat as far as I'm concerned. Long story short, she scratched me. And it's healing. It it um it drew some blood, but it's healing. But it was deep enough to where it's kind of healing from the inside out. And what it brought to mind was this how anything that's gonna heal to wholeness and be solid and sturdy and durable again, it's gotta heal from the inside out. Any wound, any scar that you have on your body. Simultaneously, what that brought to mind is how in general any wound that you got in your heart from something you might have experienced when you were a child any inner child wound or any past experience that you had that you haven't dealt with it's the only way to to heal your mindset or your emotional your emotions or to restore yourself back to a level of emotional intel intelligence where you're not triggered so easily by people and situations and circumstances is to heal from the inside out anything that's anything that's going to heal to wholeness and be solid and um unshakable it's got to heal from the inside out basically and that's why when i looked at my little wound on my little arm here and how it's healing from the inside out it's healing a little slow um and it's still tender but it's healing from the inside out so i know when i do come to the surface it's gonna be healed and enclosed and good to go but essentially what it reminded me of and just put on my mind to share share in this moment is how important it is to realize that any emotional any emotional instability, any emotional baggage, any past trauma, anything anything that you experienced in your past that's kind of stifling your ability to show up fully in your life, to show up open-heartedly in, in your relationships, your friendships with your family, how you deal with people. Um, the only way to get there is you got to heal from the inside out. And, and it's nothing externally, no external fixes are go is going to fix that hole from within. Period. You got to be willing to do the work, to do the healing work, heal from the inside out. And that's what I wanted to just record my thoughts about as I was looking at the wound on my arm that's healing from the cat. The, the only way you're gonna get to a, a, a solid place in life where you're not so emotionally triggered and frustrated and all this kind of stuff is you gotta be willing to do the work, do the inner healing work. Do some introspection, reflection on your past. What happened? Why did it make you feel that way? Get to the core of it and uh, decondition your mind of any beliefs or mindsets or self-perceptions of disempowerment that might have developed over time due to that past experience that might have come from childhood or whatever because if you don't this is the the whole thing in a nutshell if you don't do the inner healing work and let it and heal yourself from the inside out just like this little scratch i got from the cat essentially it's gonna the wound will continue to reopen it from time to time something will re reopen the wound just like my little scratch something will reopen it and when it comes to emotions and past experiences the way that happens is so they say you attract you attract in and out of your life what you're an energetic match to so you attract who you are not what you want so if, if on the surface you appear to have a facade that you're healed and whole and happy and have emotional intelligence and this and that you're a health, got a healthy mindset, but deep down you have a, a lot of inner child wounds that you haven't dealt with um, in terms of just feelings of unworthiness, I'm not lovable or I'm not good enough. Just things like that that are deep down in the core that you, that's in your heart. The wounds will get re-triggered in terms of you'll attract people, places, and situations in your life that will trigger you, trigger that emotion out of you over and over again until you stop and look at it and get to the core of why I keep feeling, why do I keep getting pissed off about this certain type of energy that come up against me, or whether it's a friendship, a job, a mentality of people, whatever it is, the drive through why do I keep getting triggered by this specific thing? The wound will keep being reopened and you'll keep getting triggered by it until you look at it and face it and do the healing work and then shift your perspective, shift your, shift your perspective and just and realize that whatever that experience was in the past, that I'm, it's not who you are, it's just something you went through. So it has nothing to do with your self-worth and your value. And um, so that you can heal, get the wisdom out of the situation, look at it carefully and clearly, get the nugget of wisdom out of it and then release it and let it go and forgive whoever and whatever it was it has something to do with. Because evidently, you know, hurt people hurt people. Otherwise, the wound will keep getting triggered and reopened and, and you don't want to become a person who becomes, if you were victimized by something in your past, if you don't heal it, you will essentially inadvertently, unintentionally become a victimizer. So do the work. Just do the work. And that's just something that it brought to mind. So I just want to record my thoughts. Okay. Love y'all. Bye.